Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition, page 253. Coronary Artery Anatomy. Describe the picture that you see here on page 253 of the coronary artery anatomy. In the picture here of the coronary artery anatomy, you see the left main coronary artery known as the LCA. It gives off a couple of different branches, one of them being the LAD, which is the left anterior descending artery, which is one of the most important arteries of the heart. There's also the left circumflex coronary artery, which goes to the back of the heart, and there's also the left marginal artery. Going now onto the right side, you see the right coronary artery known as the RCA. There's also the acute marginal artery and the posterior descending artery, also known as the interventricular artery. What regions of the heart are supplied by the left anterior descending artery? The left anterior descending artery supplies the anterior two-thirds of the interventricular septum, anterior papillary muscles, and also the anterior surface of the left ventricle. So the major part of the anterior left ventricle is supplied by the LAD. What regions of the heart are supplied by the left circumflex coronary artery, also known as the LCX? The left circumflex coronary artery supplies the lateral and the posterior walls of the left ventricle. So basically, the posterior left ventricle is supplied by the left circumflex coronary artery. What regions of the heart are supplied by the acute marginal artery? Acute marginal artery supplies the right ventricle, mostly on the anterior side of the right ventricle. What areas of the heart are supplied by the posterior descending, also known as the interventricular artery, the PD? Posterior descending artery supplies the posterior one-third of the interventricular septum and also the posterior wall of the ventricles. What artery supplies the SA and the AV node? SA and the AV nodes are usually supplied by the RCA, which is the right coronary artery. What does it mean when the heart is said to have a right dominant circulation? Right dominant circulation is said to happen in about 85% of the patients in which the posterior descending arises from the right coronary artery. What does left dominant circulation mean referring to the coronary arteries? Left dominant circulation means that in about 8% of the cases, posterior descending arises from the left circumflex coronary artery. What does codominant circulation mean when referring to coronary artery? Codominant circulation means that in about 7% of the patient, the posterior descending artery arises from both the left circumflex coronary artery as well as the right coronary artery. Which coronary artery most commonly gets occluded? Coronary artery occlusion most commonly occurs in the left anterior descending artery. Do coronary arteries fill up in a diastole or do they fill up in a systole? Coronary arteries fill during a diastole. What is the most posterior part of the heart? The most posterior part of the heart is the left atrium. What happens in a condition when there is an enlargement of the left atrium? Enlargement of the left atrium can lead to dysphagia and this happens due to the compression of the esophagus or it can also lead to hoarseness, and this happens due to the compression of the left recurrent laryngeal nerve, which is a branch of the vagus nerve. What are some of the conditions in which transesophageal echocardiography would be useful in diagnosing? Transesophageal echocardiography would be useful in diagnosing left atrial enlargement, aortic dissection, or thoracic aortic aneurysm. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.